Today we'll be talking about episystostomy, which is also named as suprapubic cystostomy, as known as SPC. So how can we define episystostomy? Episystostomy is a surgically created connection between the urinary bladder and the skin, which is used to drain urine from the bladder in patients with obstruction of normal urinary flow. Indication for episystostomy includes acute urine retention, which can be due to urethral stricture, acute prostatitis, traumatic urethral disruption, or benign prostatic hyperplasia, and is also indicated for chronic urine retention in neurogenic bladder. And it is contraindicated in patients with empty bladder, which means the bladder is not palpable, not well distended, and unable to be localized by the ultrasound. And it is also contraindicated in patients with cancer of urinary bladder. So, first, uh, let's familiarize with the instrument that we're going to use in this procedure. First, it's about the catheters. There are two types of catheters we're going to be used. First is the poly catheter. There are two apertures. First aperture is for the, uh, the outflow of the urine, the drainage of the urine. And then the other one is for us to uh, inject the distilled water into it in order to inflate the balloon, which is on the upper, uh, the tip of the other end. And this end, which will enter the urinary bladder, uh, when we inflate the balloon, it will help us to stop the catheter inside, lock it inside, and so it won't slip out from the urinary bladder. So this is how we inflate the balloon in the real situation. And then the other one is the pigtail catheter. Uh, uh, the part that enters inside the urinary bladder has few, uh, some holes here, uh, which is the portal for the drainage of the urine. And then the, the next instrument is stopper for us to incise. And then proper syringe and needle uh, we use to inject the little kind of okay, anesthetic for the patient. And then as I don't have the real uh, puncture needle, so I use this as replacement. And then clamp. Guide wire, when, uh, which we're going to be used only uh, when we use pigtail catheter for the uh, suprapubic cystosomy, epicystosomy. And then we also have the cotton wool, uh, two cotton wools for the prepping of the skin area, the patient. And then the other cotton wool soaked in the iodine, uh, which is for us to mark the puncture point. Uh, so that's all the instruments for the uh, procedure. So this is our patient's abdomen. This is the umbilicus, and here is the CPC pubis. So, patient should be in a supine position during the procedure. Firstly, we have to tell the patient to uh, drink plenty of water in order to uh, have a full bladder, which is well distended, in order to do this uh, epistosomy. Or alternatively, if it's impossible, we can help the patient uh, directly inject the uh, fluid into the urinary bladder to achieve the same purpose. So, in order to confirm if the urinary bladder is well distended and arrest above the uh, pubic symphysis, we can do palpation or we can use ultrasound to check it and to confirm the of the skin area will be below the umbilicus and above the CPC pubis, so it's around here. We will use a uh, cotton wool soft in uh, antiseptic, for example, uh, chlorhexidine or alcohol. Uh, so we will do a circular motion from the center part to the out, outer part. And we have to do it twice with the other cotton wool. And done. Then we will use the cotton wool soft in uh, iodine to mark the point of puncture, uh, which is the, uh, the point uh, two to or three finger above the CPC pubis, which is here. And then we will apply a sterile drug. Then we will do the injection of uh, lidocaine, the local anesthetic for patient. So we have to fixate the skin area. Then we subcutaneously we inject the lidocaine in all direction. And then finally intramuscularly. Then we wait for around two to three minutes uh, for the uh, anesthetic to take action. So now uh, at the mark point we will use a scalpel to make an incision. Uh, we have to hold the scalpel like holding a pen. Then we have to fixate the skin, and then incise, make a step, uh, which is enough for the needle to pass through. We will insert the puncture needle now. And then we will do a stroking motion uh, so, uh, until we see the uh, outflow of the urine, which means it is already in the uh, urinary bladder. Uh, if we see that the, there is urine outflow from the uh, this point, then we will, we will press on it to prevent the rapid decompression of the urinary bladder. So now we will insert the uh, insert the black wire through it. We can insert uh, generously uh, with large amount because the urinary bladder is already very well stand it's distended. We will again widen the uh, track by incise the linear upper track in pinprush stroking motion so that we can cut all the layers so that uh, it's easy to uh, reduce the tension and dilate the tissue and the catheter is more easily to uh, enter. Then we will remove the puncture needle then hold the, hold the guiding wire like this in place so it won't uh, slip out. Then we will put screw dilator. In order to dilate the tissue, uh, uh, to reduce the tension between the tissue. 
and then uh, we have to advance it into the bladder and wait for the urine to come out and then to in order to confirm it is in the place in the which is already in the uh, urinary bladder then next we remove the dilator the screw dilator and, then, and immediately we insert the pigtail catheter and then we insert into the 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 pigtail catheter until we see the urine outflow from the pigtail catheter then we, we will remove the whole guide wire completely then we will temporarily leave the pigtail catheter in order to prevent the uh, decompression, rapid decompression of the uh, urinary bladder. The part of the tube in the urinary bladder will recoil uh, after it is unstrengthened. And then so this will also, this will help it to uh, be secured inside the urinary bladder without it uh, slipping up. Then uh, after that, we will connect the catheter to a uh, urine bag. We will place the urine bag on the thigh of the patient. Uh, so next we will be talking about the uh, episcopacy by using the uh, polycatheter. So, uh, it's, uh, everything is the same up until breaking the uh, breaking of the, the tissue by incision. And, but we won't be using the screw dilator for this uh, for, for this type of the catheter. But we will be using troca in order to dilate the tissue, fixate the skin area, and also uh, we will insert the troca and then hold hold like it and like screwing inside it. And then we will retract the needle a bit to see if there is a. Uh, to see if there is the outflow of the urine. If there is, which means we are in the correct place, it, uh, it's already in the urinary bladder. So we will uh, remove the needle, and then as soon as possible, we have to uh, insert the uh, folic catheter. Uh, and then, by at the same time, we have to press on the this point to prevent as well the uh, rapid decompression of the urinary bladder. Then immediately we insert the folic catheter, and then uh, we will check if there is the urine outflow start to fall uh, into this tube. If there is, which means uh, it's already in the urinary bladder, so we can remove this part. Uh, in real situation, with the real uh, instrument, we can uh, we can wrap it up and take take it off like from the side. For example. Then, uh, at the same time, we will immediately also inflate the balloon by injecting the uh, distilled water into it, uh, in order to uh, inflate the balloon. So now we can see we can retract a bit to see if the it won't be slipped out to ensure it. Then we connect the other part to the uh, urine bag, same as the case in pigtail catheter. Finally, the catheter is secured with skin suture, and the dressings are applied. Complications of epistostomy are as following: hematuria surrounding organ injury, bowel perforation, catheter blockage, skin inside infection, urinary tract infection, and so on.